Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Farah, and I'm part of the Digital Tools for Social Cooperation track. And before we begin, I would like to introduce our amazing team right here. You did a great job this week. So to begin with, we are all here uh, together to celebrate the ideas of redefining cities. So this week, we witnessed how in Dubai, we can redefine the city by building public parks together to perhaps discuss topics of urbanism or, or identity or culture. We also saw how Al Zaatari refugee camp is being redefined by an amazing collaboration between refugees and architects. And here's my personal favorite. A group of geniuses redefined Beirut. And how was that? It was through graffiti and calligraphy to put the famous Sabah on a wall in Alhamra Street. So all, are, all of these are examples of how we can come together to help each other. And to help is to volunteer. However, volunteering in the Middle East has its own challenges. So let's dig deeper. We looked into 3,000 volunteers who volunteer in the UAE. And here's the shocking fact. We found out that more than half of them stopped volunteering after their first experience. So we reached out to organizations such as Nahwa, and we interviewed volunteers. And here's what we found. The problem is that, first of all, the volunteering experience is not personalized. So the volunteer cannot expect what the organization is requiring and is not in direct contact with the person he's actually helping. Second of all, the impact of the volunteering experience is not transparent. So it's very hard to go back and track what, how this impact has grown with time and how it has impacted the community, both for the organization and for the volunteers. And so we wanted to change that. And our solution is AIDI which means hands in Arabic. And so, Samir, would you like to explain more how ID works? Sure thing. <laughs> so, let's go through the app together. Haymad is a humble user who wants to aid his community by volunteering. So he discovered AD by searching for volunteering opportunities online. He decides to sign up. So he gives AD his basic information, like his name, Tells AD what his, what his interests are, like the environment or the elderly or pets, etc. And also tells AD what kind of skills he can offer. In the meantime, we have uh, an NGO uh, who would like to create a new event which is called Eco Street to clean up streets in Jordan. This NGO also gives AD the basic information of the event, along with which category it falls under, and if there's any specialized skills needed. So Imad opens up the app and sees a list of opportunities that are personalized based on his skills, his interests, as well as some other factors. So he thinks the Eco Street uh, event looks quite interesting, and he selects that one. He notices that Samir and Amal are already opted into this event. So he opts in himself too, and invites his friend Marwan to join too. And now, automatically, all these users who are going to this event are added to a group chat along with the representative from the NGO. Through this group chat, they can organize meet, meeting times as well as other preparations needed for the activity. And they could also share their experience throughout the event. After the event is over, Imad opens the app and Adi asks him how EcoStreet went. He thought it was great. He gave it four stars and told us why. After rating the event, he can see his history of all the past events he went to. He can see who was there, where it was, and what images were shared. Finally, Imad has a personalized profile, which is gamified, where he can see his, uh, his contribution to the society, some badges that he gained based on certain challenges, as well as his ranking, where he can compete with his friends. So this is how AD will revolutionize the volunteering experience. And now I'm going to invite my friend Andrew over to tell you what's going on under the hood. Thank you, Samir. <laughs> so what is the magic? of AD. Oh, let me remind ourselves that what AD is about is about personalized experience for the volunteers and also helping organizations to make events better. And the magic is data science. 
data science is a multidisciplinary field about processes that would actually extract key insights from various data streams. So the point here is that data science is awesome. And we'll give you some example. Example one, meet Marwan. Now, Marwan is a very brilliant young man. Well, you can see him here. <laughs> 17 years old at age from Lebanon. Now, question time. What would Marwan would like to do in a volunteering experience? You might not know, but Adi knows. <laughs> Through analyzing over 300 volunteers, previous volunteers who are very similar to Marwan, we realized that, oh, they actually prefer volunteering in the morning. This is actually something that's very surprising to the data team. Also, we realized that they have amazing skills to offer that we might not be aware of. So now, based on this, would you think that Marwan would, and his friends like, would like to like, go clean up a beach on a Sunday? Probably, no, you still don't know. In fact, based on our analysis, they're actually very interested in humanitarian cause, especially in helping in refugee camps and also like orphans and also in, involved in like youth experiences in education. So ADI, with the aid of data science and the matchmaking algorithm, we can link people like Marwan to the experiences that they would enjoy most, would create most impact, and where the skills are actually greatly appreciated. Now, enough about personalized volunteering experience. What about the organizations? So, example, you are an organizer of a refugee NGO. So, question, do you know about your volunteer base? No, I'm not talking about, no shake I mean, you know about your own volunteers, right? I, I hope you actually keep track of that. You might not know about the volunteers that you currently have and the potential volunteers that would actually join into your events. And this is where AD comes in. Through analyzing over a thousand uh, events related uh, to refugee uh, NGOs, organizations, and causes, we realized that in this region, the, the early 20s, like 18 to 21, is actually the demographics that you should be focusing on, where they express interest. So this is key insight. Also, how about the skills? Do you know about their skills? And I'm not talking about they can actually perform the task properly, but what are they really good at? This is very important because it can help you to plan your next event, even further, to realize the under, un, under, underutilized skills that you can actually build up the capacity. And so the opportunities with data is actually endless here. For example, now with these demographics, you can start looking at where to recruit your new orientees or actually doing your awareness campaign. And maybe actually like looking into areas you can have new events using these underutilized skills. And it is not just about the digital or the quantitative, it's also about the human side and qualitative. AD would document the whole process through this crowdsource, uh, crowdsourcing the volunteers during the event to actually see the before, after, and the impact that you created. So people can actually be motivated to spread volunteerism among the friends and wider to create a future that they all deserve. Thank you, Andrew, for showing us. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, this is ID for a more cooperative society in a more meaningful, engaging, and impactful way. Thank you, and thank you for the organizers for this amazing opportunity. Oh, and also, we would like to especially thank you come out for actually providing the key insights into addressing the problems and design in a human-centered way.